So you may be wondering, Wabrahar, what do you got for us after eight years of nothing? All eight of us who have ever seen anything from you on YouTube whatsoever, what have you got for us? It's been a long build up, eight years. <laughs> What else you think I'm going to be talking about? Death Metal Zombies, of course. I mean, what else will we be talking about? The best film I got, the best film I've ever seen, the best film anyone's ever heard of. I mean, what else could it have been? Something worth a shit? No. And there's nothing else I wanted more on Christmas 2006, I think it was, when my aunt gave me a random horror movie that I'd never heard of that she found on eBay randomly as well. Big surprise. It was Death Metal Zombies. You know, I watched it, and I was like, well, this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm going to devote my entire life to telling others about it, which I'm still doing to this day. Hey, I got crabs. I'm so happy for you. Is this fucking intro going to go on another 28 minutes or fucking 33? Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Stop looking at fucking magazines and laughing and pointing and having a great time. No one's had that much fun looking at a fucking magazine. So there's not a fucking 39 year old fucking man in fucking Texas, 1995. I don't care. No, I don't care. No, I don't want to hear another. I don't hear any stories. I don't hear any experiences. How you fucking jerked off and had a great time looking at a fucking magazine, 1995. I don't care. Hey, did you hear about the new living corpse contest on the radio? No. What? When? What? What is it? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm on the top of the fucking mountain already. Ah, here it is. Living Corpse. Oops, just tore it up. <laughs> just kidding. Living Corpse Concept, 1326 Grand Avenue. Send a postcard with your name and return. Well, we finally got a nice little moment of quiet. Oh, Holy hey. shit! Thanks for reminding me, Angel. I just had to work that night. I never have to work Friday nights. It just had to be then. Kill him! Hey. Johnny told me you guys entered the contest yesterday. They should get our postcard just in time. And it better not get lost in the mail. I don't know how many times that's happened to me. I always have bad luck. Oh, stop it. You look good like this time. You will win. I am a you nightmare a from hell. Millions will. Well, I'll see you guys tonight. See ya. Later, Tony. And there goes all the care I had for the world. That's okay. Well, wait a minute. What's wrong with that idea? Ah, he's a wuss. I'm not afraid. It's just that... Oh, no. Bitch! <laughs>
contrast of the color of her legs in the black shorts is a nightmare. The human eye can't really focus. It's so extreme. It was a bad filmmaking choice. <laughs> Let's just say that. She's sickening. She's a praying mantis in clothes. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. disturbing hair it looks like she like got the rust off like an old swing set got it down in some water put peroxide in it a, you know a little dab of bleach mix it up put her hair in it oh god this is sickening what is that a doinky Boiled couple with some uh, red candy apple sauce. Time for the best character in the entire film to finally make her grand appearance. The apparent pickpocket thief, fan of Relapse Records, single woman? You did good tonight. You acted like nothing was good in the whole purse. What was the good part? You're a liar! Tomorrow night will be as profitable. <laughs> it's almost like this movie doesn't make any fucking sense or something. I don't know. I hope tomorrow night will be as profitable. <laughs> It's a pretty good movie, I think, really. This tiny, disturbed pickpocket woman has been headbanging and just playing air guitar for 28 hours straight. It's so inept, I can't, I can't talk about it. I can't. I'll, I'll die. <laughs> and then, instead, they just start dying. And you hear... Which isn't actually a song being played backwards. It's just <laughs> but they're dying. It worked. Thank God for that. Uh, this is also something I love to watch. Uh, uh, we're about to watch a fucking cassette tape be transferred into a MP3 file to then be shared on the internet in 1995. We're watching it happen right now. It's fine. We're going to get a stick into 100. We're gonna get the fucking satisfaction while staring at this guy in his fucking Richard Nixon mask. As he flips us off for the end of the film, dude, you flipped us off every second of the goddamn film. We did not get to see it get to 100. <laughs> this movie taught me how to live, how to learn. How to be a real... <laughs>